Okay, so last year in science we made these things called eco columns, and we did it in groups of three. They're basically these ecosystems in a bottle, and we had these little bugs and fish live in there. The fish we had were guppies, and fun fact, if guppies don't get enough food, they'll be forced to cannibalism. Now just keep that in mind. So the people in the group were, uh, you know what, let's just call them Star Wars in Illinois. I don't actually live in Illinois, but if you guys watch it, you'll know who you are. So each of us got a fish, and we identified them by the looks. Illinois had rainbow eyes, Star Wars had the biggest fish, and I forgot what mine was. Three little guppies, a woman in a tank, and a teacher forgot to feed our fish. Wasn't a very good mix. So one day we noticed one of our three fish lying on the floor of the tank with a few little chunks missing from him. I'm pretty sure it was Illinois' fish that died, so there were two fish remaining. Everything was normal for about a week and then it happened. Star Wars' fish still floating in the water in pieces! We saw the little fish guts and everything. So I guess my fish was a deranged little killer about to assassinate any poor fish soul and bikini bottom and make a little Spongebob be the only one left because it tastes like expired rubber. So I told the teacher that our fish died and he was just shocked. Turns out that other fish were feasting on their neighbors as well and the teacher was just confounded. I told my friend Pencil Paper Pen, he's also a really good animator. You can go find him out in the description and on the feature channels part in my um, channel. And since he actually has really good equipment to go with it, I asked him why the fish were going all killer on us. He said the only reason why they would go all psycho on us would be because of a massive lack of food. So the moral of the story is, if you don't give your fish food, they'll eat you.